Hi, this is Chris, the SAT expert at Magoosh, and I've had over 15 years experience helping students ace the test. And today, I'm gonna talk about median and mode. Now, you'll be able to recognize this on the math section when, you, of course, you see something that says median or mode. But it's not always that obvious. Sometimes you might wonder, huh, are they asking me about the average, the mean, or the median? So with median, you always have to remember that it is the middle most number, not necessarily the average of all the numbers. And with mode, it's the number that shows up the most times, though they won't always use the word mode. For a closer look, let's dive into a few problems. So let's dive into the difference between median and mode, starting with these numbers, three, 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 four, six, eight, nine. So what does the median actually mean? Well, the median is the middle number of the set. And here, that middle number, notice we have seven numbers. We have one, two, three, and on this side we have one, two, three. The median is that middle number, which is four. And that's all you're doing with the median is you're looking for the middle number. The mode, on the other hand, is the number that appears the most. In this case, three, three, and three, that is the no number that appears only more, only number there that appears more than once. And so that is our mode. So again, the median, the middle number is four, and the mode, the number that appears the most, is three. So what do we need to know for the test? Well, the mode is not likely to really show up on the test. They don't test this too often. What they do test, though, is the median. And they try to, I don't want to say they try to trick you, but they won't give you something that straightforward as that as above. They're going to make it a little bit more complicated. Maybe like this, but maybe even more complicated. When I say like this, I'm talking about these four numbers down here. Why is that more complicated? Well, notice there is no middle number because there's an even number of numbers there. There's four numbers, so there's no middle number. You just have seven and 10 on the inside. So what do you do? Do you pick the seven or do you pick the 10? Well, I'm happy you asked because you pick neither. What you want to do is you want to find the average of seven and 10. And to find the average of those numbers, you add the two numbers together and then you divide by two. And so seven plus 10 divided by two is 8.5. And so therefore, we know that the median is 8.5 to those four numbers. Now this is a little bit confusing because I just said average or mean and then I found the mean to arrive at the median. And I think that's one reason why many people confuse the two, median and mean, but they are different. So let's hash it out here and see those differences. Mean is the average of a set of numbers. The average. So it's, it's basically whenever you're taking an average. Just think mean equals average. Median, on the other hand, and sometimes, by the way, these can be very similar. They can end up being the same number, but they are different concepts. The median is simply the number that is in the middle. And again, if you have an even number of numbers, then you have to find the average of those numbers. But again, don't confuse those two concepts. Now, what is a good way to remember median and mean and not to confuse them, especially in the moment of the test where you're stressing out? Well, let's think of the median on the highway. What does it do? It separates the two lanes on either side of the highway. So think of the median It's in the middle of the highway, in the middle of the numbers. Another way to think about it, kind of a funky creative way, is the words look very similar. I think that's why a lot of people mix them up. Notice the letters mean are contained in median, but median has this DI, big DI here. I made it big, but it's not usually big, but there it is, big DI in the middle to show you it's the middle. It's all about that middle part, not necessarily the, the average, the way that mean is. And so those are two good ways to keep those concepts separated. So let's try a couple of practice problems here. What is the median of the following set? What is it asking? What is the middle number? And that middle number is, well, these are arranged from highest or from lowest, that is to highest. And so we just look for the middle number, which is 117.5. So not a hard question, but at least if you didn't know what a median was before this video started, now you do and you got the question right. But let's try a harder one. The mean of the median of set A and the median of set B is what? So I look at set A, and I don't want to add them up and divide by five because that would give me the what? The mean, and that's why it's, this is such a tricky problem. It says the mean of the median of set A. So we look for the median of set A, the middle number, that is seven. Then we look for the median of set B, the middle number, and so we have 10 and 12 there. And what do we do again? We find the average of those two numbers. So 10 plus 12 is 22, divided by two is 11. So the median for set A is seven, the median for set B is 11. You add those up, seven plus 11 divided by two, that's 18 divided by two is nine, and that gives us answer choice B. So there you have it. We talked about median, which is the middle number. We talked about mode, which isn't likely to show up on the test, which is the number that shows up most in a set. And we talked about the difference between median and mean and how not to confuse them.
And there you have it. That is median and mode, the way they will show up on the SAT. Now, if you want more tips and strategies, click on some of the videos to my left. And if you want even more, check us out at sat.magoosh.com and you can click on the link in the description below.